Hi, it's Wave, and this is this month's update for January. So starting off with the good news. I finished a pan for this uh, month. This is the Make a Forever in what was it? 6N. I have it all the way down and I can't do any more, so it's officially done in my book. With that, I'm replacing it with this one. This is the Bite Beauty. It's another Sephora gift I got years ago. And it's in this color, like a mauve shave. And it's in Chai. I'm pretty bummed that they changed the formula of this because I found out a couple years ago that they ended up changing everything. So I don't even know if they make this shade anymore. But this is mauve tone. And it's really pigmented, which I like. I tend to go for mauves because they just complement my lips better since they're really pigmented. But yeah, this will probably last me about three to four months, depending. Because it's very pigmented, like I said. And it only takes for like one or two swipes to go on my lips. So yeah, pretty psyched about this. Oh, I forgot to mention that for the Makeup Forever, I used it for, what is it? Um... 14 times. My second item is the DKNY in Be Delicious. I have about like this much. And I used this for 14 times as well. So it wasn't um, that bad, but I'm glad I actually started off of doing it because I've been a couple of times where I actually forgot to do it in the mornings. It lasts all day. It's if you wash your hands a lot because I do the dishes quite often. Then the scent tends, tend, tends to go away, but I still like it. Still smells good. I mean, it's a little bit like not foggy, but kind of like artificial particles like you see in the sky type of deal. But overall, still good. And like I said, I should be done in six months, maybe less. The way it's going. The only downside about this sometimes I notice that. Um, to get it into the roll ball, you have to like keep uh, swirling it around and make sure it's like all the way down That we can actually get the product in because sometimes it doesn't go even So there's that. My next item is this Essence Make Me Brow in, what is it? Brownie Brows. I'm actually having it on my eyebrows today and I've been enjoying this product a lot I didn't think I'll enjoy gel mascaras, but I actually do so I'm really glad I got to try this out for this year's project pan. I use this about, what is it? Um, 14 times. Um, when it comes to hold, it holds pretty well, but it's not to the point where it's like once it's on, it won't move at all. You can touch your eyebrows and it will move a little bit if you like be aggressive and all that. But since I don't touch my eyebrows that often, it stays put for the remainder of the day. And the color is actually pretty nice. That was surprising. Um, yeah, so that's that. Now for my Tarte palette, I used it for 15 times. And what I have currently is this mustard here. This one has gotten a, right here, a bit bigger. I'll throw in a picture to show the difference. And I'll be using it quite often. Still using the Urban K. um, electric palette, uh, dual end brush, and the flat side, I tend to do is just like put it on it and then just like wiggle it on the side on the flat and then just pat it and then a little bit swiping because I noticed that as I get more impact from it since these for some reason tend to, especially the shimmers, they get hard panned coating on it. I don't know why, but it does. And Mm. So with the hard coating, I have to like kind of almost scrape it a bit with the brush But I noticed that if I were to do uh, just like swipe like regularly It doesn't give me the amount that I want and then it caused me to like dig in my brush than I, I need to and I'm kind of lazy with that so Yeah, so There's that now for the NARS Laguna bronzer I did it for 12 times and I actually really like it. It's kind of like gives you this glowy look but without any shimmer to it because there is no shimmer actually. So if you can see it, I think I have it in the picture of the edges where it actually shows I starting to pan on the sides. So what I do is 
to apply it on, I use my Wayne Gauze uh, airbrush brush and then just swipe it on uh, gently onto the skin. But here's the thing I noticed, it's starting to get like a bit of a hard pan sheen. Uh, not because of the product itself that does it, it's because of my um, acne medication that I put on my skin in the morning. And because it kind of gets like this oily residue, I have to um, now use a loose powder, put it on first, and then apply the bronzer to it. That way it doesn't get any patchiness or um, continue to get pan on it. I have tried it with the um, sunscreen, even on today, and it tends to blend well. But my brother said that he thought I was wearing blush because since the sunscreen is a, t a tinted mineral, it has this peach undertone, which is not my uh, skin undertone. So it looks kind of blushy, but to me it looks pretty fine. So yeah, I really am enjoying this. My next item is the e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleaner. I thought I was going to finish it for the month of January, but I didn't, so I'm kind of disappointed in that. I used it for four times. I mean, it's better than nothing, but I'm really was determined to finish it. What are you doing? <laughs> um, I don't know if you can see it, but I have a picture of it and on the weight scale, just like the other things too, that um, it's almost done. So I'm really determined for next month that it will be completely finished and out of the way. For my last item is the Jordana uh, gel pencil. I used it for 10 times and I can't find it right now, but I have a picture on the screen of how much I used. And that one is my least favorite uh, gel pencil that I've had. I had to, uh, like I said in the intro, constantly sharpen it and then when I try to put it on my lid it just crumbles and falls out so it's just a big uh, mess to deal with and um are you mocking me so I thought the gel pencil was gonna finish too but I just kind of like didn't want to deal with it at times because when I sharpened it um I really didn't l like using it a lot, so I didn't use it that much, but I really want to finish it for next month as well, just get out of the way, because I don't like it. And that concludes for this month's update for January. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, that really lets me know if you guys actually enjoy it, or even uh, comment if you have any tips that could help me uh, pan better. Until then, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hi.